What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's time to review some new snacks and for this video we are going to be diving into different Pringle chip flavors. Now this is actually a video that some of you guys suggested I do so here we are and I thought it was perfect because I loved Pringles growing up. But I was the kind of child whose mother said you can only have the original Pringles flavor because all the actual flavored ones are poisoned. So I'm quite literally fulfilling a childhood dream. I got myself a variety flavor Pringles pack and I'm about to devour all of them. Now this is what that kind of variety pack looks like. There are 27 cups of Pringle chips in here. No, no, they don't come in the long classic tube because this one's a special cookie. There are six different flavors in here, five of which I've never tried before and obviously there are multiple cups per flavor. From what I've read online, these packs are supposed to be ideal for children's parties and office parties. Both of these scenarios sound like a fever dream to me, so I'm glad we are just in my filming room in my cozy home. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, that's some sturdy cardboard. Oh, okay, so they differentiate between the flavors with different colored tops. I love that, very easy to understand for children and the office workers. To slowly preheat the oven, the first flavor we are gonna be trying is the original Pringles chip. It has at least been a decade since I've had one of those and I have to tell you, I've always thought that Pringles chips were kind of superior. They have that unique trademark taste that just no other chip has. I don't know what it is. I also always liked that they all look the same. I know that should be kind of a red flag, but I liked that, I don't know why. I don't like that this is plastic and I don't really care about the aluminum, but I don't like that this is plastic. This is not very environmental friendly. They could have made this cardboard or the same cardboard that the tubes are made of. We might have to cut that gesture out. Anyways, here is the original Pringles chip. There's quite a few of those in here. I think like 10. I just know one of these has 100 calories. So we're just gonna have one chip per flavor. I am mentally preparing myself to really enjoy all of these six sad chips that I'm gonna be trying because Lord knows I will be donating the rest. I'm not tempting myself to snack at home, especially not on something like this. But we're here for this video, let's give it a bite. Oh, it's just as good as I remembered. We're having more than a chip, absolutely. Mmm. The classic Pringles flavor is unmatched. It is so much milder and less salty than a lot of the other bagged chips. I don't know, it has this probably artificial but comforting potato and butter taste. I love the original Pringles. But now, let's get to the actually exciting part. Let's try all the flavors I could get my hands on. We are starting off with cheddar and sour cream. I don't know if they even have all these flavors available in Europe, which is where I grew up, but thank God they have them available in America, otherwise I would not be able to make this video. Anyways, I think we definitely have to make sure to get a full chip. There is some dust on here. I think that's the cheddar flavor because it has cheddar color. This is supposed to be sour cream and cheddar. I just smell something spiced. I don't know what it is. Let's see what we're tasting. Mmm. Ooh, good. I don't know if I'm tasting cheddar or sour cream. I'm tasting a half percentile of onion and definitely something different than in the original, but I don't know if it's cheddar and sour cream that I'm tasting. I don't know what this is. I'm tasting something good. It just tastes seasoned. It's like an original Pringles chip, but seasoned. I love it, but I do prefer the original just because I like subtle, not too overpowering flavors, but this is great. Good job, Pringles. The next flavor we are gonna be diving into is barbecue. I like the barbecue flavor in certain scenarios. I like barbecue sauce with red meat. I don't like it with anything else. So this is gonna be specific. And I know that barbecue is always extremely overpowering. So, huh, I don't smell anything. Comparing it to the other chips. First of all, I love that I said I'm only gonna have a chip a bag. I think at this point I've had 10. Again, I can tell a certain dust 
has been sprinkled onto this. It looks very seasoned. I see dark dust here. I think they all just make the chip and then they powder them with different flavors. I think this all went through the same machine and then, you know, they all kind of took different paths in life. Here I can smell a barbecue hint. Let's give it a taste. Ooh, interesting. The first impression, obvious barbecue. A second later, it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. But, gun to my head, blindfolded, I would be able to tell that this is supposed to be barbecue. My advice, slow down on the sweetener or the sugar, whatever it is you're using. This is supposed to be a little more paprika, pepper, I know a barbecue sauce is a little sweet, but this is mainly sweet. But I like that it tastes a little smoky and definitely seasoned. I prefer this over the cheddar sour cream because I can kind of tell what this is supposed to be. This just tastes like you threw on the everything bagel seasoning or something. Like it's just random flavors, if you know what I mean. So I like the barbecue one, but still the original one takes the cake. The next flavor we are gonna be diving into is sour cream and onions. Now I know this is a famous flavor. Don't quote me, but I believe this is probably the second most popular flavor apart from the originals. So my expectations are high. Let's see the first chip is a perfectly not crumbled one. With this one, I see white dust. You probably can't see this on camera, but you've all seen a Pringle before in person, otherwise you probably wouldn't be watching this video. So you know what I mean. Again, the flavor dust has been sprayed on there. Huh, very mild, but better than the sour cream cheddar. And the reason I'm comparing them is because they do taste similar. Because I said I taste a hint of onion in the sour cream and cheddar, even though there's not supposed to be a hint of onion while this is sour cream and onion. I don't know. These two, a little suspiciously similar. If I had to pick cheddar and sour cream or sour cream and onion, I would pick neither. I would pick the original or the barbecue, but I do think sour cream and onion is better. Now, giving the whole cheddar concept a second chance, the next flavor is cheddar cheese. I hope they got the flavor right this time because otherwise we're going to have a serious problem. I know Americans love cheddar cheese. Whoa, 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 whoa. The first impression is dust has been added. This chip is not yellow. This chip is orange. Also, all the ones in the box have definitely been covered in something that's supposed to be cheddar. I know you also eat with your eyes, so I am almost 100% convinced a lot of this is food coloring and it has nothing to do with real cheese. But I don't care. That's not what I'm here for. Actually, I am here to judge it, but I'm here to enjoy it just as much. So let's give it a bite. Ooh, now they nailed this one. It tastes like cheddar without being too salty, too overpowering. This is probably my second favorite flavor. I love the original. I love the cheddar. I love the original more, but I like the cheddar. I like the barbecue. And then the other seasonings that they did. Now, I like to think I left the weirdest for last. This flavor is called pizza flavor. Welcome to America. I don't know. Who thought this was gonna be a good idea? I already know that this is not gonna taste like pizza. Oh my God. The dust looks so suspicious. This is the perfect example of a chip that just looks moldy. There is like a light red dust on there with white and black and it looks wrong. And I'm almost sure there's gonna be a hint of tomato, ketchup, something like that. Let's see what they did here. Honestly, I'm surprised by how mild a lot of these flavors are. This blindfolded could be the original flavor that tastes a little off. I know what I'm tasting is supposed to be a hint of tomato, but it's just a sour note that they added. Not a sour cream sour, like a sour, as if you had like a drop of lemon somewhere on there. Hmm. Yeah, okay. 
I can tell they tried to add the oregano and, and whatnot, but clearly it's not working out. This is that typical artificial pizza flavor. Do you know these pizza bread chips? I used to love those in elementary school. That's what it tastes like. Only those actually tasted more like pizza and they had the consistency of bread and the crust and whatnot. This is just chemistry. I don't even want to eat this. I don't want to give this to anyone. This is just misleading. This is just a weird tasting chip. So, to sum things up, I loved doing this video. Like I said, this was almost a dream come true for my inner child because I was not allowed to have all the flavors when I was young. It was just discouraged. I'm sure my mother would have allowed it, but bottom line, I never had all these flavors and I finally did. Also, first and foremost, thank you guys so much for suggesting content. I love filming and trying new things for you guys. If you think of any other viral food trends, snacks, pastries, viral bakeries that you guys would like me to try on here, on camera for the very first time together with you, let me know in the comments. I will get my hands on them somehow and make it work. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Which one is your favorite Pringles flavor? I know that there are seven flavor, eight flavor variety packs on Amazon as well, but they would have taken weeks to get here. And we both know I don't have time for that. So let me know your favorite Pringles flavor out of all of these. Mine is probably still the original, hard to beat the original, but all of the others were surely enjoyable as well. Until next time, see you soon and take care. Bye.